Low carb diets have been popular for some time and have significant merit in certain aspects, but in this content I'll be describing some data coming from a study that investigated the effect a low carbohydrate diet has on generally healthy yet overweight men in measures of cholesterol, blood fats, blood sugar, and insulin resistance. If you want to get a science-based answer, then tune in. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. As promised, I'll be detailing a study by a group of researchers that wanted to gather some answers on the effects of a low-carbohydrate diet. You can find the study and my notes of the study breakdown attached to this content for you. So how did the researchers probe this question of low-carb dieting and its effect in this population of men? Well, they recruited 15 overweight yet otherwise healthy young men. In a crossover design study, meaning all participants underwent both diets used, they were placed on two diets for six weeks each time. Well, obviously, one was a low carbohydrate diet, wherein the participants consumed 60% dietary fat with no restrictions on the type of fat, although they ended up consuming a sizable amount of saturated fat and consumed under 10% of their diet from carbohydrates. When put on the other condition, they consumed a low-fat diet, which consisted of only 25% dietary fat, lower in saturated fat, and 55% of the diet coming from carbohydrates. Both diets were designed to induce weight loss, so for added details on those diets and more information, check out the attached notes. Alright, what did the researchers find then? In measures of cholesterol, there was a reduction in total cholesterol with both diets, with neither diet low carb or low fat showing a greater reduction in cholesterol. Interestingly, only the low fat diet showed a reduction in LDL cholesterol, however, with the low carb diet showing no increase or decrease. Also, no effect on HDL cholesterol by either diet. And as one more measure, oxidized or damaged LDL cholesterol was unfazed by either diet after six weeks either. One notable difference was the reduction in blood fats or triglycerides with the low carb diet that was not seen in the low fat diet. So that gives us a decent picture of the blood fats and cholesterol, but what about blood sugar and insulin? Here, the researchers found that a low carb diet, but not a low fat diet, reduced blood sugar levels, yet both diets reduced circulating insulin levels quite dramatically. And then by measures of insulin resistance, or the ability for the cells of the body to respond to insulin, there were improvements in insulin sensitivity, otherwise stated as reductions in insulin resistance with both diets equally. So while this study looked at energy restriction, calorie restriction with both diets, causing similar weight loss, previous studies have looked at unrestricted consumption with emphasis on unsaturated fats, making up most of the nutritional fat, and found that those low carb diets reduced blood fats, triglycerides, and insulin in men. The same was seen in women. Here we see similar results, which the researchers posit as a positive because of increased blood triglycerides are associated with poor cardiovascular outcomes. So that means worse heart health through reduced HDL cholesterol, more cholesterol particles that can be more easily damaged, known as oxidized cholesterol, which facilitate greater immune reactions as immune cells are recruited to various sites across the body, exacerbating issues since immune cells can cause damage to surrounding tissue as well. There's so much more to this than that's explained here, so you'll have to forgive my vagaries, but what ultimately does this study tell us? It tells us that if you are an overweight young man, let's say below 35 or 40 years, you can expect slight reductions in cholesterol, significant reductions in triglycerides and blood sugar with increased insulin sensitivity, providing that the diet is energy deficient, leading to weight loss. Now, as mentioned, this is complex, and while this information may apply to you, I'd encourage that you check out my other content on the matter since I have a series of studies investigating this area of health. But if you want a quick, more robust answer, check out the final verdict where I piece together all of the studies on the topic in one comprehensive video for you, assuming it's finished when you see this. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll hope to speak with you then. Bye.